Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the AMD PPM.SYS blue screen you are experiencing on your Windows computer. And it's typically displayed with the error message K mode exception not handled. And this is typically also affiliated with the AMD primary processor module, which is associated with the power management of AMD processors. So if there's a driver conflict or some sort of system corruption, hopefully in today's tutorial we're going to get it resolved. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'm going to suggest doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. So I'm going to have several commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one in here. This is going to enable Hyper-V if your system supports it, of course. So go ahead and copy that from the description of my video and then go up the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, select edit and paste that in, hit enter. Should say the operation completed successfully. And now you want to go ahead and paste in the next two commands. They're going to take some time to run each of them, so don't put them in at the same time. For next one we're going to run is a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, edit, paste it in, hit enter, and give this a few minutes to run. Okay, so once that has finished running, go ahead and copy and paste the final command. This is the system file checker utility scan and run it. Once that's finished, close out of here and you want to restart your computer.
Okay, so there you go, guys. That was a pretty straightforward process, and hopefully that was able to help resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.